Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Made in the Midlands TV. Um, this is about the importance of a strong local supply chain. Today uh, we are joined by ADI and um, Group Strategic Director James Sopwith. Welcome James. Morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Good. James, tell us uh, about the importance of being a um, strong supplier. I think as we've grown as a business, um, what we've what we've discovered is it's not good enough just to be a quality supplier delivering on time and delivering competitively. Mm -hmm. Where we operate is typically with large multinational um, uh, uh, companies and typically in the manufacturing sector. Mm -hmm. What they're looking for is of course they want the quality on time and a competitive uh, service that, that we're delivering. But they're wanting now much more of a holistic approach to business. And when I say holistic, I'm talking about what are your CSR strategies? What are you doing for the next generation of your employees? What are you doing within your community? Mm -hmm. How do you interact with the, um, uh, with, with the environment around you? both from an ethical point of view and also a sustainability point of view. And equally, they're looking for financial stability and your overall view of your business moving forward. I'd probably term that your purpose as a business, mm -hmm. not just your ability to make money and not just your ability to be a good engineering supplier. Fantastic. So it looks like you evolved over time as a business, um, hence, hence the growth. Um, so tell us about the innovation in that uh, services and you provide to those uh, companies on the on the large scale. Okay. If we if we look at innovation, our mantra and the vision of Alan Lusty, who set up the group twenty seven years ago, was to add an additional engineering service uh, mm -hmm. every twelve to eighteen months. That level and that ability to diversify has allowed us to be sustainable. And sustainable, as I said before, is not just financial stability. That diversity has allowed us to invest in our teams, invest in our environment, mm -hmm. invest in um, our local schools, which is what we do. And we're, we're heavily involved from an education point of view and in inspiring engineering into the next generation of mm -hmm. our employees. Um, so I think... To help us to grow, to help us to innovate, we need to be constantly looking at ourselves and also at our customers, talking with our customers and ensuring that we're fulfilling their requirements and not just our requirements, which clearly needs to be, we need to make money, otherwise we're not a business. But that level of innovation across the things that I just talked about, that's important for us to make us a sustainable company. Absolutely. Um, and um, you being a middle, Made in the Midlands um, member, how does this translate to Made in the Midlands members? We've got over 400. What would be the message to them? Well, ADI 27 years ago started from nothing, so mm -hmm. we didn't have any turnover. Um, virtually all of our growth has been organic, so mm -hmm. uh, whilst we've we have purchased two companies. Both of those businesses were very small when we when we uh, purchased them. Mm -hmm. The rest of our our group growth has been purely organic and along the lines of what I just said in terms of growing our engineering services. So we were an SME and and we know very much um, uh, about the challenges uh, of being an SME. The key piece of advice, um, and, and I'm probably not the best person to give advice um, because each business is completely different, but if I were to give some advice is be cognizant, be mindful that larger companies are expecting you to do more than just supply whatever it is that you supply into them. They are looking for that level of sustainability mm -hmm. I talked about. And it is an end-to-end -end supply chain. So the end user is expecting their prime suppliers to have a sustainable su supply base behind them. So understand your customers, understand if you are a supplier to ADI, understand our requirements and what our customers' requirements are, rather than just being a supplier. 
adding value uh, to to the ADI business. Fantastic. Thank you very much, James, for coming today and answering all our questions. We look forward to further news and um, innovations from ADI. Thank you very much for watching. Look, look out for this space. Uh, we bring more interviews from fantastic manufacturing and engineering companies in the Midlands. Thank you and goodbye.